Good evening, YouTube. It's your guy, J. Crew to you. Coming to you with yet another video here on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to hold y'all long here th this evening. Just want to do a video on the late, great Tupac Amaru Shakur. Of course, I'm choosing to do this video on this particular date, June 16th, 2021. Because Tupac would have been 50 years old if he would have lived, um, you know, until today. But, of course, he was unfortunately lost on September 13, 1996, if my memory serves me correctly, to an unfortunate shooting out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I, now that I have a YouTube channel, this is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do a video that was dedicated to Tupac. Obviously, for anybody who's ever been exposed to Tupac, at some point in life, you, you, you're going to hear about a lot of different things with Pop. You're going to hear about the great music, uh, you know, the the great acting talent. But you're also going to hear probably some of the negatives about his life, uh, obviously with the unfortunate uh, 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 passing uh, that, that happened to him back in Las Vegas, Nevada, that I just mentioned, and also his many run-ins with the law. But I want to choose to focus on some of the positive things. Because in the 25 years this man lived, he was able to do some pretty incredible stuff. Um, first of all, when I think about my life, 25 years would never just be enough for me in, uh, in under any circumstance, but I mean, in my personal opinion. To me, if that's all the time you got, you it, you wouldn't have enough to grow as an individual and become who you are meant to become in life. I mean, there's a lot that can happen in 25 years, but to me, yet there's still not enough. That's how I see that. To me, in 25 years, there will be enough time for you to do some things, but uh, but obviously not a lot of things. A lot of us might, well, we may, of course, you know, go to grade school, graduate, maybe go to college and start working a, you know, a full-time job and probably have some kids and maybe get married. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to do much past that in terms of grow old and see our kids grow up, maybe get a nice home and live out our lives, become grandparents. And in Tupac's case, to me, uh, as I just said, he wasn't able to do some of those things. He wasn't able to have children. He wasn't able to become a grandparent. You know, um, he wasn't able to, you know, uh, have a house that he could live in for many years on end that was big enough uh, for his talent to bring him in. And, it was, and the more and more I think about it, while it's a shame to, to see him, you know, pass away at such a young age, you know, in terms of uh, back in September 13, 1996, when he passed. I also think about the incredible talent that he had. To me, when I was growing up, and I still feel this way today, nobody tops Tupac in terms of his talent, in terms of being a better rap artist, uh, a better poet, uh, a lyrical thinker. Like he did so many different records while he was alive. To me, I don't I haven't seen an artist come close to that. And and then on I guess on top of that, have the level of cultural impact that he's had. His impact is immeasurable. I bet you a lot of these young rappers out here, they probably study Tupac's life and probably study his look and study his way of functioning. And they just put that into their music. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, I think that's pretty smart. To me, if, with a guy who is that incredibly talented, what I learned since his passing is that you probably have to go through a lot of things in order to become uh, that lyrically sharp where you could transfer some of your experiences into the music. The music simply turns out better if you feel it, if you lived it. And I think that's why Tupac, was, his, his, his impact... And his music is, is going to be lasting for so many years on end. And, and I mean, <laughs> with the songs he had, I mean, we all probably have our favorite song. But then again, when you look at a lot of his catalog, 
<laughs> depending upon what mood you're in, you might like another song as one of your favorite songs, or uh, you know, or uh, one day, and then on another day, you'll say, okay, oh, this is my favorite song, Tupac. You can literally go from song to song, album to album with him, and, and following his catalog and say, hey, man, this is my favorite song. This is my favorite record. You can literally just kind of do that with Tupac with ease. And that's not easy with most artists, no matter what genre of music they perform in. You know, if you first remember, I think the first time I ever remember being exposed to Tupac is with, of course, the group Digital Underground. Back in the early 90s when they came out with that that music video and that record called Same Old Song and Tupac rapped a little bit of a verse. Like, it was it, like, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest thing you've ever heard. But yet, you know, it was kind of sing-songy and it was catchy. And uh, as Tupac moved along in life, he began to, you know, sort of metamorphosize with his music. His music became more street after that point. And it was reflective, I think, of both of his, his experiences and what he wanted to represent. You know, you're talking about a brother who, who was shot, beat up, been to jail off of a fake rape charge, in my opinion. And it showed in his music. That roughness showed in that cat's music, man. He was incredible, man. Tupac was just a one-of-a-kind dude who was incredible. And it, it just translated into great music. While his experiences were unfortunate for the listener, it created classic tracks that we'll be able to listen to forever. I mean, when I think about his career, most of these rappers, like, if they were had, having to go from one label to another uh, and one group or clique or whatever you want to call it, like Tupac did, it, their music would not carry over like he did. To me, with Pop, he was one of those guys that could just make you make good music no matter where he was. When, when he was primarily based on the East Coast doing music, I guess with, uh, what's that dude named Big Stretch and the Live Squad, you know, uh, back on the East Coast when he, when he was coming out. Then he kind of moved out west to the Bay Area and then L.A. at times doing, you know, Thug Life and then with Death Row. His music just stayed. Just, just cracking, for lack of a better term. He, he just knew how to make great music, and that's something to me that's extremely difficult to do. But he made that look easy, and you know that's gonna last forever with his impact. And you know that that's what sticks with me. When I was young, you know, even though I really wasn't like a street cat like that, I love what this brother had to say. It was that moving to me from an artistic standpoint. You know, it, it was just that incredible. You know, even though I didn't really know the streets like that, it was that incredible. And, um, you know, even today, you know, when I listen to some of those Tupac tracks, I still feel like a certain level of enjoyment, anger, angst when I hear him rap, when I hear him, when I hear him just rhyme so effortlessly, no matter what kind of album I'm listening to with him, the way he made you feel is what made you connect with him artistically. And that's what made this brother so great. But like I said, I mean, when I look at his body of work, not just with, you know, uh, the music, but of course he he was a movie star, you know, I, I, or at least in the hood movies or hood oriented movies. You know what I'm saying? We we still looked at Tupac like that. You know, he was in, you know, Juice, Poetic Justice, um, uh, Oh, that movie he played, Birdie, Above the Rim, Gang Related. I mean, it kind of is disappointing that he only made the 25 because I always felt like Tupac was going to be way bigger than that. I mean, maybe that was just me. But I always felt like he was meant for something even more larger than what he was, he was even doing at that point in his life. And that's what was so incredible about his impact. Is that man? He did so much, but he still has so much left to give. Yeah, but you know, he he only lived twenty five years, but man, that dude made it count. And so, uh, you know, I just wanted to, 
uh, pay homage and uh, say uh, rest in peace eternally to Tupac Amaru Shakur. Uh, you will never be forgotten. Uh, happy posthumous 50th birthday. Rest easy, bro. You made an impact on the world. Y'all have a good one.